Hello, my conscious team of 144. Today is day 7 of 111 messages from Archangel Michael from Who Needs Light. Instead of criticizing yourself or others, which is very impetus for war, investigate why you are being disparaging, what is driving you to do so. So on day 7, criticism and retort, your entitled right or the choice of war, from Archangel Michael. With sincerity and the privacy of your heart, between you and God, you quite often cry out, what can I do, how can I help? Because you ask, and with such genuine entreaty, we may respond to your heart cry with a reciprocal response, refrain from criticism. Refrain from criticizing yourself and others. Criticism, no matter its truth or justification, is a doorway to hell, meaning criticism is always an entry to the ever-descending spiral of experience. Criticism does not lead to balance. Criticism leads to evil, which means imbalance. Criticism has been re-imaged on earth, both by those who would do so intentionally and by those who do so naively, as the vanguard of truth and justice. If you truly desire Christed ascension, it will help you to know, once and for all, that criticism, even when it is dressed up in noble disguise, does not soften the heart. It does not lead to unity, prosperity, freedom, or grace. If you feel righteous in your entitled prerogative to express what you know, stop yourself if your message is to be delivered in the form or energy of criticism. What is criticism? It is communication in any form that elevates one stance behavior person or denounces another. The creation of this temporary subjective hierarchy is for purposes of control, no matter whatever else you tell yourself. Instead of repugning pause, breathe, pray, in place of imposing a limited view of a partial insight, first vow to tell the truth about yourself to yourself. Why do you have an urge or a charge about the topic at hand? whether criticizing or responding to criticism, what is being triggered within you? Does all this mean you should never, not even give truthful feedback to yourself or to others? Of course not. So what's the measure? How do you enact divine discernment while you stop giving the dark or imbalance, especially inner imbalance, a seat at the table of life? Well, if you are unsure or too sure that you are being of service to the highest good of all, it is wise to go within to ponder rather to, than to encroach or inflict any critical jabs. There is no formula, yet the results of your communications will show you the truth of your hidden agendas. Are you brave enough to see that the company of heaven only gives response through fluffy language and innocuous content is an unfortunate contortion? In the higher realms, we tell the truth about ourselves to ourselves. Without the hindrance of a toxic environment, confusing our ability to tell and receive an honest communication. The drive to defend or elevate ourselves at the expense of another disappears under these conditions. Whenever even one soul ventures to accomplish this on earth, it changes all of reality for the better. When you take up the mantle to forego the gratification of doing, doling out or responding to criticism, you ascend. When you do not, whether you are criticizing in thought, word, intent, or energy, or you are responding to criticism about yourself or anything, no matter your reasoning or wound, you are casting your vote once again for the fall of earth. This message contains a lifetime in every word. In response to your request of what you can do to deepen your walk within God and to serve earth, we bring you this. If you have brushed off any part of this message as not pertaining to you, then it is assuredly most especially for you. Gentle, gentle as we rise, serving alongside you, I am Archangel Michael. Channeled by Christine Burke, September 29, 2018. Who Needs Light? with Dr. Catherine E. May. Have a beautiful, 